What do you need? Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's saloon not too long ago. I'd ask there. Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs, and I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. What can I tell you about Megaton? Well, that fucking bomb is killing us all slowly. How's that for a piece of information? Well, people have been saying that the water purifier is about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I tell them. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. I take care of the water purification plant. This old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water, for now. The pipes are leaking around town. Find the leaks and pack. Well, back to work. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. Well, it takes a little more work than that to get food. And good water's even harder. <laughs> but you'll figure that out soon enough. Here, take the armored suit. It won't help feed you, but it should keep you from being food for anything else. Or anyone else. <laughs> That'll be good for the book. I, in, in fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Let's see, dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. All right then. Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. 
Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? <gasps> do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. What do you need? Good hunting! I couldn't tell you, really. i talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Come back soon! What's shaking? Thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Right. 
I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Okay. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Come on! I... Oh. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. My God, it's you. The little baby girl all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. Excellent. Your dad raised a smart kid. Really no substitute for the love of a father, now is there? Speaking of dear old dad, he went southeast into D.C. to the Galaxy News radio station. Uh, good luck now. No. Work. Work. Come on, work. Stupid radio. Wait. Just give it up. Is that... Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? Well, not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world, 
and got a full-on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. Nice of you to say so. If you can't be nice, at least pretend, right? Fake it till you make it and all that. Still, though, a fake compliment is better than the usual spit in the face that I get. You're not half bad for a smooth skin. Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Don't hit me! Got something on your mind? My, my. Just when I'd all but given up hope. My. Dear girl, I am very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. I represent certain interests who view this town, this Megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Color me intrigued. Go on. Well, I... I mean, I... Of course not. <laughs> I must admit, I've never met a woman quite like you before. This changes everything. Ah, I'm not sure what I'm going to tell Tenpenny. I'll think of something. You wait here, my dear. I have some important business to attend to. But you won't be waiting long. I shall send for you soon. Hey there. Glad you're back. Got something on your mind? So, what is it now? Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned Enclave all day. 
There's only one thing that concerns me in this town these days. What my damn fool husband is doing. He wanders around here all day and all night, preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Mega 